There are several kinds of tools to help you in an AI project. Yes, from different categories of tools, but it is important to say most of the tools are open source. Most of the tools are free to use. And it's important to really understand all the ecosystem of tools that you can use to engage in an AI project. I cannot show you all the tools that are available, but I want to show you some tools that I use in my studies, in my projects. Let's start with a programming language. And my option was Python. I decided five years ago uh, to pick a new programming language and Python at that time was the one that was rising a lot and was increasing and probably today is the most important language in data science. When, I, when we discuss about uh, data management, uh, I told you about SQL, yes, SQL, and how it's important to understand SQL to get data, to collect data in the relation data basis, because most of the data in, in the companies are stored in relational database systems. If you decide to use Python, you have available some kinds of different libraries with code that are ready to be used. Yes, and what kind of libraries uh, are so common and so popular for data science in the Python environment? Yes, first of all, NumPy. NumPy is a scientific computation library. Yes, you use to, to build vectors, to build arrays, to build sensors, and it's very common to be used in the data science area. If you have data, uh, structured data, for example, and you want to manipulate the data or analyze the data, Pandas is the very popular library to use and very easy to use Pandas to understand and manipulate your data and prepare the data for the next phases in your project. Yes, sometimes you have to visualize your data. Matplotlib is a very popular library uh, in the Python environment to build some graphs, some charts, in a way you can visualize your data. And if you want to apply some descriptive statistics, Stats Model is also a very good library to help you in these tasks. When you move to machine learning, yes, we have one very popular library to help you in the classic machine learning, Scikit-learn. Uh, with Scikit-learn, you can easily build models using decision trees, logistic regression, support vector machine. is a very popular framework to build machine learning models. To you can't you can train, you can fit your models, you can evaluate your models, and you can predict the results using Scikit-learn. If you are in the deep learning world, well, then TensorFlow is a very popular uh, framework to build neural networks, uh, very deep neural networks, and also Keras. Both together, both libraries are very powerful to build deep neural networks. In the world of natural language processing and computer vision, uh, here are two important libraries to help you to pre-process pre your data before you use them to build a machine learning, a deep learning model. Yes, Natural Language Toolkit is very good to pre-process data that are in text originally, yes, and OpenCV is another library, uh, popular library to help you in the computer vision projects. During the development phase of a project in using AI, you, you, you need an environment where you can uh, put your code, where you can see the results of your code, where you can document what you are doing and Jupyter Notebook is very good for this thing. Jupyter Notebook is popular in a way that you can uh, prepare your code, run the code, see the results, document what you are doing because if you want to collaborate with other people in your, in your project, then it's a very powerful and very popular tool in this environment where you can really work in data science and AI projects. And the last tool here is GitHub. Why is so important GitHub? Because as I said, 
this is a team sport game yes you have to work together maybe uh, you will combine a data science with a machine learning a machine learning with a software engineer and github is very good to control the versions of your projects but also to share code because this is so common in the data science project people share the code uh, in a way that you can trans transfer the learning that you have to other people not only using uh, deep learning but also using code yes and github is a great tool to help you to share your code with other people as you you see there are a lot of different tools with different uh, functions here in your project but they are very powerful anyone with some skills can use them and it's important to say that there are more this is a list and with this list for sure you can start or or create your first ai project